Don't ask any questions about the hat. Just go with it. The Sequence. What is going on, peoples? We are back at it again with another episode of The Sequence and Smooth McCree is in the building. We're gonna talk about sampling because I totally forgot about that in my last video, top right of the screen. If you really wanna know about the free MPC Beat software, I highly recommend you download it. It's for Windows and Mac, guys. But yeah, let's talk about the sampling. I got the MPC 2500 behind me, but that's not gonna get used in this video. But I am gonna use the Akai MPK 25 Mini. And yeah, I'll have a link in the description box for that. I got it from Sweetwater.com. Yeah, really fast delivery, one day. Really impressive. So, let's begin. So again, I wanna show you the Akai MPK Mini right here. This is the box for it. This is the special edition. And yeah, I only found it on Sweetwater.com and it wasn't in any other store. Yeah, it's crazy out here. So how does it look like outside of the box? Let's find out. So it looks really nice. I'll do a full review on it a little later, but you'll see it in full action here. Let's go into the software, that's the most important. So how do we set it up so it can work? So the first thing you wanna do is go into your setup wizard over here. So for those who don't know, you can go into your help and do a startup wizard. And once you go into here, it says start by plugging in the MIDI device. So, you know, you could just plug in your MIDI device. It automatically detected the MPK Mini Mark II. And now I'm gonna go into advanced here and make sure that that's clicked because I wanna do advanced and then start making beats. So I press on the pass and you see that everything is still a little wild here. I'm gonna go and show you real quick. So you see I'm not just, it's still not, Calibrate it. So the next thing I want to show you how to do is to calibrate it. So you're going to go down here to the bottom right side of the screen and you're going to click on this so you can enable it. This is something I didn't know uh, was the issue at first and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people are bewildered by that. So now it is enabled properly and you would hit bank so you can get to, to the top part here and you can use your knobs as well. So you can actually turn stuff up and down and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and move on to the more important thing, which is setting up the sample. So for those who want to use samples out of your file browser, uh, this little button right here will allow you to use samples anywhere. And there's another way you can sample in here, of course, which would be in here. If you hit the sample button and that is another way where you can sample audio and you will have to, you can pick out, you know, which input devices you're using. It's like if you was in the MPC itself, but we're going to use a sample from the pool here. I'm going to go back into the home screen and then I'm going to drag a sample. Well, I'm going to play a sample. So I double tap that in there. Now we can go back into the screen, bring out the MPK mini and we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is double tap on the sample and it's going to bring me into the screen that I need the most. And that is the trim. And if you press the, these pads right here while they're on bank a, at least on the MPK mini, and you can listen to the start point and then you listen to the end point and stop the sample. So just like how it would be on the MPC. I remember, and I want to show you guys that you can trim this because you have start and end points here. So this is the start point. This is the end point right here. The sample itself is pretty flawless, but if I wanted to discard anything, I could right here and you could discard all the stuff that is outside of the start and end point. That's the point, reason why I brought that up. And if you wanna zoom in on the sample itself, you can right here. So you can see I'm doing that. But now let's go to the elephant in the room, which is really not an elephant in the room. 
uh, let's go ahead and chop the sample. So you would go over here and chop the sample and then begin to chop the sample the way you want. And you can do this mainly as well. So now that you've seen that I chopped the sample by using this MIDI controller, now we can begin to do other things as well. I can show you some other cool stuff. So what I'm gonna do over here, instead of using manual chops, I'm gonna go ahead and use BPM. So it's gonna chop towards the BPM here. Uh, that sample that I have is 68 BPM. So that means... like the bank so yeah we got a lot to work with the next thing you want to do is you can use either non-destructive convert which means that you can uh, further adjust this a little later and you can adjust your chops so it can fit the track or you can actually extract new samples and make it into a new program as well which means that it'll be new samples. Like all these different chops will be just samples and you it's destructive basically. Uh, what I do and what all of us old heads do, old gang stand up, uh, we uh, just go and do non-destructive. But before I even do that, I wanna show you some other things too and trim before I even overlook that. You can tune the sample too. Like per se you want it lower. You can go down different uh, semitones. So let's hear that. And you know, go back and mess with the chops. I'm actually cool with that. So let's go ahead and move forward here and just create a program. Boom. So we're gonna create this program, hit do it. And now we go over here to this part, which is the programs. We're in the track, we're in the drum track right now. And we need to go ahead and select that program. Boom. So here we are, let's hear it. I know there's a big elephant in the room and I know a lot of you guys want to know, does this time stretch or does it warp? Yes, it does. Uh, what you need to do is go over here into the home and right here he's from this home sign and then go into wave. Once you see wave, you'll see warp. And from there, you can set up warp on whatever pad that you want. So we are, assume that this was going to be a 84 BPM track. And the reason why I use BPM is because it's going to chop it perfectly to the original BPM. So that way you don't have to worry about those issues. Hit warp. In certain ways, this is actually faster <laughs> than on the MPC. Now everything is warped. Now we need to pick out some drums and get busy. So what I'm gonna do is go to another track here. I'm gonna go to track number two. So I'm gonna use this expansion right here and we're gonna look for hip hop. We're gonna type hip hop into this browser. So let's type that in here, hip hop. And we're gonna go and look for a program. Make sure you go to programs. So therefore, when you play. Stop 
stop twice and therefore you don't have to worry about that sound anymore and you know we'll just play with it uh, within the controller so let's go ahead and do that Set it to bank a here So the next thing we want to do is record. So let's go ahead and go back into grid mode so we can see what we recorded in there. Uh, make sure that you have your time correct on or off. It depends on you. If you want to do that, you have swing over here too as well. And we're going to go ahead and record something in here. Hit R and then space bar to record. I'm gonna turn TC off real quick so we can get some uh now shift and R. Keep the track playing. Now we're gonna go back into the first track here. And then I'm gonna turn down the sample a little bit. There we go. So I like that. Let's go ahead and record that in here. I'm going to press R. And then space again. Let's go. Shift and R. So now that we have that in there, yeah, I know I have TC off. I, I like my shit kind of funky. Uh, but we're going to go and add another track here. Let's go to track. And we're going to go to unused. And now. We're gonna use one of the plugins in here. I'm gonna use one of the default plugins instead of a VST, because I do love these. I'm gonna use baseline. You wanna look at baseline, you can. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over here and select the sub base. And if you wanna look at the program for what it is, you can go up here and go to program edit, engage program editor, and now we have the plugin open. You can see it. One of the tricks that I do when I'm Making a bass line as I play it at the highest key. And that's just to keep it from, you know, not being on key with the actual sample or something like that. And then it's a little difficult anyways with lo-fi samples because they kind of waver off a certain pitch. But now that I have that, let's go ahead and lay it down. Turn that, let me turn down that bass real quick. R. Bass bar. So tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section because whew, a lot of you guys definitely wanted to know a lot of these questions and I do apologize. I put a lot of information in that video and sampling should have been the main thing because that's what everybody uses an MPC for anyways because it's the best sampler in the game. So with that being said, do apologize and you know just leave a comment below and let me know what you want to learn next about the software and I'll get to it. Yeah.